It's 3.30 in the morning and for some inexplicable reason I've decided this is the perfect time to make a video and the video is going to be about an LED head torch and you think, oh, not another LED head torch. Well, yes, but this one is surprisingly good. First things first, let's go through the modes. High, medium, low and off. No strobe. If you press and hold this button in, it goes into... SOS mode and it does a proper SOS mode. I'm not really sure what you use that for. I suppose if you were camping with it, it might be useful in emergencies. It doesn't have the strobe though, which is interesting. This is a very cheap rechargeable head torch. It's called Super Bright Waterproof Head Torch Headlight LED USB Rechargeable Headlamp Fish. This one came from Goods Cloud. Um, and things worthy of note, it costs £5.19, which is extremely good. It claims it's got a 1,200 milliamp hour cell. I have to say, normally when I get these, I discharge completely. I just basically turn them on and leave them maybe at a mid setting and leave them running for a while. Notice the modulation, by the way, just because the pulse of modulation versus camera. And I just left it sitting for ages and it just seemed to go on forever. It runs for a very long time. I haven't shown you all the modes. Let me show you the other mode. You press the right hand button instead and the light comes on, but it goes into infrared sensor mode. You may be able to see. Are you going to see the infrared? You're not really seeing the infrared. Uh, let's try and uh, turn that off. I can't see the infrared. I can see the blue LED, but not the infrared. It's putting out modulated infrared light. And when you push your hand in front of it, uh, it's for use when you've got gloves on and you can't fumble for the switch, you can just basically pass your hand in front of it. And a nice feature of this is that if you turn on, say for instance, high, medium, low, and then you click that button, it will do the same. It will actually control via just waving your hand in front. And it seems relatively resilient to detecting high-vis clothing because some of these devices tend to be a bit oversensitive. Um, the head strap is good. It's a good long length. I've got a big head. I've tried it around my head. It works with a beanie as well. Let's check out the beam angle because that's where this really is pretty good. It's got the usual tiltable uh, angle position on this uh, head mount bracket. Let me turn the light off, take the exposure off, um, turn this on at the high setting, and that gives you an idea of the beam angle at the table. That if I'm actually working something, it's a really good, you know, it's a good spread of light. There's a wee splash of light beyond that main beam, but it's a good area of light. You've also got the... Uh, I've just pushed the wrong button. You've got the high, high, medium, which you're seeing the pulse of modulation now. I can't see that because it is quite a high frequency. I can see a slight strobe. I move a finger and then you've got low, but it's st even low is quite good to work by. Okay, let's bring the light back. Shield your eyes. The light is back. Let's open it. That's what we want. So this is rechargeable things worthy of note about the recharging. Sometimes these little recharging uh, port covers are very hard to open. This one has a position for sticking your fingernail in and opening it. And it rotates to the side, you can put the lead in, and then when you sit it back in, there's no, it is a rubbery feeling thing, but it's got its own little recess in there and it presses into it easily and it does stay in. This is a big move up from some of the other stuff that uh, the recharge port is rubber and it just keeps popping out or it's very hard to get in. It's very good. Let's take the bracket off. Let's unscrew the back and see what size of lithium cell is in here. As I say, it seems to last forever. I I did try running it flat and then I charged and I thought that's a really unusually high capacity. It does state 1200 milliamp hour. I shall test that afterwards. That is a big lithium cell. Let's see what else we can take apart here. Let's take everything out. That's the best bet. Here is the circuit board. Let's zoom down this so you can actually get a better view, particularly if we've got a smaller device. Okay, we shall explore the circuit board afterwards. Right now, I'm kind of interested in the lithium cell. Let's take this 
screw completely out of here, or will I just leave it in? I shall. No, no, it's out. This little spacer here, that is a big fat lithium cell. Can I get it out? It's stuck in with foam. Oh, that's actually slightly disappointing because it's not as big as I was expecting, but it is still pretty big. Let's find something I can use to get this out without bursting it. Because it is stuck in tightly with a foam pad by the feel of it. Ugh, it's out. Oh, that's got a big foam pad. I can't help feeling the foam pad is so big that they could have fitted a bigger lithium cell in there. And all the text is covered by the foam pad. That's a wee bit annoying. Does it give us any information? Let's see if I can wipe this off. Uh, it says 800 milliamp power. I think that tallies up with what I tested that at. But that makes me think that maybe this has extra capacity. That, you know, it's got the facility that you could actually use a bigger cell in the back of this. That would be interesting. Uh, does this have protection circuitry on it? It does have a circuit board on it. This is all, you know, for the cost, this is all turning out to be just a, a little bit of a treat of a light. This is uh, possibly going to end up my favourite head torch. Let's peel this off and then we'll uh, take a look at the circuit board. Oh, it is. It's protected. It's a protected cell. It's got the DW01 and the MOSFET. That is just amazing. Right, tell you what. One moment. I'm just going to take a picture of this and then we shall reverse engineer it. Reverse engineering is complete. Let's investigate. The charging circuitry is based on the incoming supply via the USB port. It's only got two connections, plus five and zero volts. And the chip that's controlling that is the classic TC4056A. 4056A is the bit we're interested in. It controls the charge of the chip. It also controls the charging indicator LEDs. There's a common 1K resistor. That's 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, and two zeros. That resistor is common to these two LEDs and it will ch indicate charging and fully charged. There's also a 302, 30 and two zeros. That's 3000 ohm resistor, which sets the charging current to these two connection points here, which go out to the lithium cell, which is rated apparently 800 milliamp power and is at 902535. That's nine millimeters thick by 25 millimeters by 35 millimeters with protection cell. That is very impressive. Uh, decoupling capacitors, as there often are, um, a couple here, a couple, uh, one here next to the chip. We get the two buttons go directly to the inputs of the chip. The chip also controls this LED. This is the one that uh, indicates when it's in automatic sense mode. So via this 1000 ohm resistor, it lights this blue LED, but also pulses this infrared LED via this 821, 8210, which is 820 ohm resistor. So it pulses the LED, that then reflects off your hands as you pass in front and is picked up by this, which is a three pin infrared receiver, which detects the modulated light. So it blocks, it just ignores standard light. It's looking for the uh, light that's being modulated at the correct frequency by this microcontroller to pulse this LED. And when it detects it, it's got three pins plus minus, and it's then it feeds the signal over to you like a switch. There is a 561, which is 5610, 560 ohm resistor going to this transistor, which is called a 1HC. And strangely, it's not a MOSFET. It is a standard NPN transistor. And that is controlling the LED via a 2.7 ohm resistor. Let me just do a little bit of mathematics here. Let's say the battery is charged to say 4 volts. Minus, say, the 4 volts of the LED is 3 volts. So we've got 1 divided by 2.7 ohms equals 370 milliamps. Let's say it's running the LED effectively at 1 watt. The LED itself uh, has fairly big pads on either side. It's using them presumably for the heat sinking. 
That's interesting. It might have been my imagination when I was testing this. I could swear the intensity was being stepped down by the light. It may just have been because the battery voltage was going down because, as with all these things, there's no voltage regulation. As the battery voltage drops from 4 volts gradually down to 2.5 volts, which is the point it'll cut off, um, the intensity reduces, but it's still very usable. So that 2.7 ohm resistor is a bit that's limited to current through the LED. Is there anything else to say? There's not really. Charge circuitry, infrared circuitry, the LED itself uh, pointing to this rather smart little reflector with the lens in front. I think the lens is more for visual effect at either side, or maybe it does actually help spread the detect the set of pattern the infrared. It's very good. It's a very nice little light. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's waterproof, but I'd say it's very much splash resistant. This is an ideal little work light. So good that before making this video, before releasing it, I went and ordered another one, just in case, because I, I like to do that. If I like something a lot, I'll buy one, because this has become very quickly, it's become my main little head torch. It's very affordable and very good. So there we have it. It's an impressive little LED head torch at an affordable price. I shall try and provide a link in the description down below. Um, but it is fairly generic description words, so it may end up just a link to this particular listing. Maybe that will bring up other similar lights. Uh, it's very good. For the cost, just over £5. It is stellar, particularly with a lithium cell this size and a protected lithium cell that the wires have just fallen off. Oh no, but that's good, because now I put a connector on this and now I can test it properly. Excellent. Happy little accident. But there we go. That is very good. Full marks that that light. I am really impressed by that.